<sighs> wow. Things this cycle really feel a lot different. Knowing that out there, the Nomai still haven't all gone extinct, and the fact that I actually managed to get to meet one. It's like a Herthian's dream to meet something that you've been wanting to learn more about over the years. I just hope she's okay. I mean, there's always a chance I can meet her again. I mean, all I need to do is just get to the sixth location on the moon, and we'll be golden. But now that just begs the question, what's left to do? Got all the stuff on the Guana Moon. We've discovered the vessel, we discovered the stuff in the core, the interloper, the orbital probe cannon, the core of Giant Steep, Feldspar's location, and basically the secret to dark, the Dark Bramble. The only thing I'm really missing right now is the Ash Twin project. There has to be something I'm missing. Maybe going through my notes I'll be able to understand something better. Central chamber inside the Ash Twin is physically sealed off by an immensely thick protective shell. Know my plan to construct technology capable of producing a 22 minute, minute negative time travel interval on the Ash Twin. Every memory recorded in Know My statue is transmitted to the corresponding storage unit in the Twin itself, and an advanced warp core was approved for installation at the center chamber of the Twin. And the vessel, reading stuff there, they need a warp core to hopefully try and get the vessel out to meet the other clans. Just stuff from the mines in the Olo's Lantern uh, testing site. Uh, there's something back in the Black Hole Forge I'm missing, and there's also, let's see, diagram depicting the alignment angle between the warp tower and its corresponding astral body. Warp tower alignment angles are not exact. They only need to be within five degrees of the astral body center. The result is slightly longer warp windows that last roughly several seconds. Hmm. Maybe if I go back to the forge, I'll be able to learn more about how to maybe find a way to get to the Ash Twin. And I could also pay Ryback a visit. I'm sure they've been missing me. Although I guess not, seeing as how they don't even know that we're stuck in a time loop. Alright. Well, got no time to waste. Mm, now, I bet the safest way to get in there would be to send my ship in. Seems to be the best way to get to the forge. I forget what teleporter they used to get to the forge proper, though. I mean, I could use my special method to get up there, but that was a really risky maneuver. That was almost a Feldspar maneuver I managed to pull that cycle. Hmm. What is a safe way to get in here? I could wait for a couple of the meteors to hit the surface of the planet and knock a few chunks in. But if I do so, then that would mean that I wasted too much time. I think maybe where was the cannon located here? I could try and squeeze the ship in through that section. The biggest problem is trying to figure out where the cannon is and also not colliding into the surface of the planet itself. I thought I saw it coming in on the approach, but... I think it might be located on the equator. Ah, there it is. Yeah, that looks like I could be able to sneak the ship in. Oh dear. Easy. Might as well pay right back a visit while I'm still here. So long. 
Oh, you launched. That's great. Great job, you. Oh, I guess that means I've been here a while, huh? Well, um, this is Brittle Hollow, but you probably knew that. Lots of history here. It's great. I'm in a hurry. Can I ask you something? Uh, sure, of course. Anything you want. There's a few things I wanted to tell you about. Let's see. Found the location in Brittle Hollow. Let's see. I found the vessel. You did? That That's incredible. Congratulations. That means they really were far from far outside our solar system. Haha, <laughs> yes, I knew it! But that creates so many more new questions. They didn't come from our solar system. Where did they come from? Are they from our galaxy or somewhere even further? What are the lines before they came here? And why did they come here? Hey, I, I might not be much of an astronaut, but I'm really glad to... I have come out here to see to know my artifacts for myself, and um, thanks for telling me about the vessel, I mean. There's more stuff I want to tell you about. I saw the Sunless City on the Ember Twin. You mean there's another Nomai City inside of Ember Twin? That's incredible. A lot of si a whole city, and I had no idea it existed. This is great. Now they keep it the sand out. If it were me, I'd be nervous about getting buried in the caves that by that awful river of sand. Gosh, Nomai sure were ingenious. Building an entire settlement on the ground. The Sunless City. Wow. That means there are two groups of Nomai. One that lived on Ember Twin, and one that lived here on Brittle Hollow. But they must have traveled around the solar system, since Nomai writing can be found on other planets, too. I also learned... that I found writing about their quantum pilgrimage. A pilgrimage to the quantum moon? The Nomai mentioned the quantum moon in a lot of the writing, so it was clearly special to them. And, um, special enough to make a trip to there by themselves. It sounds like a coming-of-age ritual, like how hatchlings stay hatchlings until their stomachs are strong enough to drink sap wine. Maybe once I know my journey to the quantum moon, they were considered an adult? Possibly. Or maybe it was just a rite of passage of wanting to learn more about the eye of the universe. And I went to the comet and... well... Oh wow, wow! So that's how the Nomai died. That really sad, isn't it? I know it was a long time ago, but still. Stars above, it's lucky we hadn't evolved to live on land yet. To think, if the comet had killed them, our species might have coexisted in the solar system. That would have been amazing. But, I guess, if I hadn't wanted to learn about the no how the Nomai disappeared, I never left Timber Hearth and come out here, or any of those adventures. Don't get me wrong, space is terrifying, but, you know, it has its moments. That's not all it has. I managed to actually talk to a living Nomai. Ah! That doesn't make any sense! I don't understand! I'm very excited for you, though. P please stop yelling! What? On the Quantum Moon, you said? There's a sort of living Nomai on the Quantum Moon? Well, why did you say so? Oh, wow, wow! This is the best thing that's ever happened in the history of Outer Wilds Ventures! I can't believe you talked to an actual Nomai! Great. So I just had to go back into space, fly through the quantum moon with zero visibility, find a spooky ruin, and travel through a few different types of dangerous terrain to get there. Oh yeah, that's... that's not so bad. That's probably double. Well, I figured you'd want to know about that stuff, right back. It's good seeing you again. Still love that banjo playing you do. For now, I need to get to that forge. And with the fact that this planet's starting to crumble all around us, I don't have much time. Ugh. There we go. Up there. Ugh. Ooh, my ship is teetering on the edge. I might need to fly it a little bit closer to the city. Oh dear. Oh dear. Uh, thrusters. I'm not stuck, am I? There we go. Ooh, easy, easy. Ugh. Slate really needs to work on the thrusters for the next ship. 
if there's even a chance of him being able to work on the thrusters of a new ship. system seems pretty new. Hmm. Could have sworn the forge controls were in a different location. Must be my imagination. Either that or all these cycles are just starting to cause my head to go crazy. Alright. Time to pull a feldspar maneuver again. Get up. Get up. Oh, okay. Now I just need to get up to the gravity tiles and I should be good. Ooh. Ooh. Come on, get the, no, get the ship onto the tiles. Come on, get the ship onto the tiles. Ugh. Ooh, ugh. Well, it's not the best landing job I've ever done, but it still works. And I'll take any victory I can get. Uh, still so disorienting looking up and basically looking down here. Remember seeing a thing to put a communication shard there. Ugh. There we go. All right, what did I miss here? There's a scroll on the wall over there, but I don't remember if I read that in the past cycle or not. Looks to be the alignment. Ground the war towers and ash twins, does each tower have to be perfectly aligned with the center of the astral body which is tuned? I enjoy precision as much as the next no mind, but if I, for, for example, a tower base were to shift even slightly, the tower might no longer align with the astral body. More accurately, I enjoy precision as much as the next no mind, provided the next no mind is not poke. We don't need the alignment angle to be exact. It only needs to be within five degrees of the astral body center. All right, so yeah, I have read this in the past cycle. Where am I taking the first badge of black hole cores? All right, I remember reading that one in the past cycle as well. Maybe the scroll that I have right here is something I have not read about. Of note, Yara believes he spotted a flaw in the warp tower designs. No, namely, the one of the warp towers on the Ash Twin will never activate because its warp receiver will never align overhead. Does your romantic interest think a warp tower's alignment point is its receiver? Does he not know the warp tower always aligns with the center of its corresponding astral body? That isn't an under unreasonable belief, given the receiver does have to be located on or close orbit around the relevant astral body. No, Yara understands the distinction. He likely doesn't realize the hourglass twins are so close together they function as a single astral body with a shared alignment point in between them. It seems to recall that it was your understanding of warp technology at first. So the twins act as a single astral body, but only when they align themselves. I guess it makes sense. There's two towers there, so I wonder. I can read it. 
this. I think I might have read this in a past cycle as well, but just to make sure. I have good news. The advanced war core is ready to be installed in the central chamber of the Ash Twin. I'm intrigued, love. Everyone here is working on the Ash Twin project. Is excited to see it. Pi is beside herself with joy. No, it isn't. Is everything well at the forge? Don't worry, love. Poke is only nervous. The core is extraordinary, and her design work is beautifully clever. Core durability could still be improved. I need more time. Ignore her, Yaro. The core is finished, and if my sister tells you otherwise, then she will be finished as well. Yeah, I remember reading this in a past cycle as well. I think this will just take me to the Ash Twin Project. Yep. So there's... My statue, there's, I'm gonna guess Gabbro's statue, and I guess now knowing who the third statue owner is, that's gotta be Solanum's. Alright, well, I gotta get to the towers on the twins then. If I can do that, then maybe there's a chance I can figure out how to get to the Ash Twin Project proper. Uh, uh. If I can pry myself off the ceiling. Uh. I think I might be stuck up here, though. Nope, there we go. Whew. All right, I'm safe. How's the sun looking? A little orangish, but not completely red. So there's still a chance I can still discover stuff about the Ash Twin project. All right, there's the Ash Twin proper. Hopefully navigation won't send me flying into the sun, but I think I should be good on the trajectory. Still a lot, decent amount of sand on there. And a decent amount on the Ember Twin as well, though. Alright, this looks like a safe spot to set the ship down. I need to know before I head in there. There's still something I was missing back at the forge, though. Hmm. Let's see. Approach hacking module, all that stuff. Alright, well, I don't really have much of a choice. I'm not going to fly all the way back to... Brutal Hollow just to look at a, at a board or something. Snowmine was going to something. But one of these probably sends me to the Amber Twin, but the other one might send me to... Where would the second receiver go then? I might just find out or I might just get something in the Amber Twin! So that's unfinished, or if it got destroyed? Wait. This one looks like it's... 
cycling up like it would get sent to the one twin. This one over here. The cycle looks like it's angling downwards though. Like into the core of the planet here. Doesn't look like it was unfinished. It looks like it was just deliberately made that way. The sun is getting very orange and it's concerning me. I don't see the sun station flying around it either, so... Something tells me this cycle's about ready to end. And I don't like that fact. Well, there's only one thing left to do. Hopefully not get sucked up by the sand and see where this warp uh, receiver sends me. Alright, make sure the bodies to align themselves, not get sucked up in the sand this time. Here we go! Whoa! <gasps> to look at, but I made it. Seventeen minutes, fifty-seven seconds ago. Received data of previous cycles. Mass receiving data from probe tracking module, giant deep memory statue, timber hearth memory statue. Four minutes until end of cycle transmission. I don't have a whole lot of time. Today we finished the excavation of Ash Twin. Here in the space we card, we will craft our most ambitious project yet, the Ash Twin project. Powerful enough to send information back in time. We've also finished relocating all subterranean plants we met while digging. On how significantly we've altered the environment here. How far we've come since our experiments at the High Energy Lab. I still can hardly believe Raimi's hypothesis was true. Coke just sent the warp core for, for the final tower to us from the Black Hole Forge. Now Ash Twin can be connected to the Giant's Deep where Kasaba is working with Abins to craft the orbital probe cannon and where Phlox is sculpting the memory statues. Hypothesis. It was not by accident the core of our warp tower was the last to be forged. Hypothesis, the cores could have been forged faster if Kasava had interrupted my work less frequently to ask for updates. The important point is we are all connected through the Ash Twin now, and also that I'm no longer needed for mediating your disagreement. Our friends on Giant's Deep tested the orbital probe cannon today. Mallow tells me the cannon is doing well, and that Avans advocates for more launch power. If anyone can coax the maximum power from a device, Avans can. But then, if anyone can go the device into exploding, that too is likely Avans. Perhaps I should check in with the orbital probe cannon crew in the interest of safety. Would it help to remind Avans that Mallow, his love, Will be one of the Nomai aboard the cannon, or is Mallow a part of the problem? Fox and Daz finished the memory statues today, and they are truly remarkable. When the Ash Twin project succeeds, or in the event it fails, the memory statues will activate, allowing us to gather more data before we shut down the project. Pi and Adania have worked hard on the Sun Station, and it is at last complete. If everything goes as planned, the structure will prompt the sun's explosion, which will in turn supply power to the Ash Twin project. I'm impressed by their mental fortitude. This was the project's most difficult task, in more ways than one. We 
We are nearly ready to activate the Ash Twin Project. Here's what will happen. First, the Sun Station will receive the order to fire at the Sun, prompting it to explode. Using energy from the resulting supernova, the Ash Twin Project will send an order to the orbital probe cannon to fire back in time by 22 minutes. Exactly 22 minutes after these orders are received, the Sun Station will again trigger the supernova to send the probe data from this cannon launch back in time. In total, each cycle created by the Ash Twin Project will last precisely 22 minutes. We can end this cycle at will. These words are difficult to write. The Sun Station did not work. Suppose we redesign the Sun Station to generate power of that magnitude. The supernova is still our only viable option. This is easier expressed than accomplished. You can wait for the sun to explode on its natural timeline if you prefer, Idana, but you'll need to find some way to halt our aging process. I believe we still can't find a way to create a supernova, my friend. Don't lose hope. However, this is the closest we've ever been. The Ash Twin Project is theoretically sound. We were only unable to power it. Perhaps there is another way. We are halting research into creating these supernova for the moment. A comet has newly arrived in the solar system, and we are anxious to explore it. It's been a very long time since we last explored something new, so we're excited to welcome this comet. Imagine what knowledge might be gained there. Ugh. That's a really chilling thought. They were so excited about that comet, and it's what led to all their deaths. All the masks inside the Ash Twin Project blocks, they look beautiful, although I do feel as though I'm being observed. It's comforting to know the statues will not appear until the project succeeds, otherwise I imagine the experience would be hard to endure. Ideally, they only need to activate once the project succeeds as a safety measure, however, the statues will also activate in the event of equipment failure. They will? Why is that? If anything goes wrong with the Ashland Project, the statues and their masks will make us aware of the situation and enable us to fix it. Otherwise, it would be possible for us to remain permanently unaware of the problem. I hadn't thought of that. What a profoundly horrific fate that would be. I feel like I, I, these look like all the all the wall writings from the other planets. This could be talking about the warp core that they sent here. Advanced World Core is ready to be installed at the central chamber of the Ash Twin. I'm guessing that thing. Yeah, no it isn't. That's what I read when I was on Brutal Hollow earlier. Timber Growth Projection Stone, I'm sure it's talking about the case in around this place. In the gratitude of the latest shipment, Odeo, this should be the last project we need for the Ash Twin. Any news I can offer, extra set of eyes, and final check specifically mine. If my work here is complete, I'd be delighted to help. I'd be grateful if you would. The more eyes, the better, as the small spot in the op or opening in the shell that protects the ash twin could lead to a disaster. Yeah, this was talking about the shell around this place. And 
I, at the very least, could save myself. I can't, there's no way I could save my people from the supernova. Everything I've learned about this place, everything I've done, it really does feel like it's led up to this moment. But, I, I don't know, I'm scared. Just, the fact that there's no way for me to save my people, just like how Solana felt like she couldn't save her people. What's gonna happen? Wait. Looks like this cycle's done. Well, I...